So, how's your mother? She's fine. Good. What'd you have to say? Anything about me? Mm, nothing much. You know, she asked why you didn't come. And what did you tell her? I told her my husband is a very busy man. What else? She asked if I was happy. And what did you say? What do you think I told her? I need to hear this from your mouth. I told her that you're taking good care of me. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm being treated like a queen. And loved the way a woman needs to be. You're a good man. Any woman would be lucky to have a husband like you. I'm just so happy that I... I gotta go, sweetheart. Come in. Ah, Frankie, how was the drive? Ah, oh, we had no problem reaching Miss Valentina's mother's house. Good. Come on in. I hope they treated you well. Yes, sir. They were very kind. Miss Valentina insisted I stay and have dinner with them. Did you? I'm glad they treated you well. Your family. Uh, did they find Anthony? No, not yet. He's still out there. He knows the price he has to pay for betrayal to the family. I can help. It's not necessary. We've got it covered. You've done enough, Frankie. You know, Tony was just like you. The family took him in when his father died. Spared no expense, you know. Of course. To think that he would stab us in the back for the Alfonsi family. You think you know and... I'm really sorry, sir. I can't even imagine how it feels. There are bad apples everywhere in every family. What do you do with bad apples, Frankie? You throw them out? You throw them out, you get rid of them. But Tony, he was like a son to me. He will pay. He will pay. Do you know how I console myself? How, sir? You, Frankie. You have been the one constant thing through all of this. I say to myself, nothing can go wrong when you're by my side because I know you'd do nothing to hurt me or the family. Of course not. I would do anything for you, sir. I mean, that you made me the man that I am. I made you the man you are. You'd do anything for me. That's what Tony used to say. Funny thing is, I don't ever remember telling you to fuck my wife. Sir. In my sleep, I see the faces of my enemies, the faces of traitors, these Dirty faces. They wake me. I turn to look at the beautiful face of my young wife. And now... No. 
I'm sorry. It was her. It was Angelo, Roberto, clean this mess up, then come to the house. I miss my loving wife. 